Happy Sunday morning, I'm Ashley Moore, and welcome in to the Prep Rally. Week three was by far our top vote getter in our Nine News Game of the Week. And after over 15,000 votes, Kent Denver versus Forge Christian lost by just 79. But when a community shows up for their teams like that, we show up to the game anyways. was for sure their pregame. The number three team in the state for 2A taking on the number three team in 1A in the battle of private schools. First quarter, Forge Christian possession when Sullivan Strange finds Joey Shelton who spins out of two arm tackles and runs it in for a touchdown. 14-0 Fury. Shortly after, it's FC again. This time on the ground, Yuli Tafoya steps out of the tackle box, stiff arms another, and look at the strength. Being pulled back and he breaks free right before being tackled inside the 15. And look, shows us the cleats to help make it happen. Strange with the short field now as he tucks it in himself, following his blockers to the left and his pay dirt. And Strange, Tell us how you really feel. 22-0 Fury. And the bleeding does not stop. Strange this time in the air. And it's a bomb to who? Joey Shelton, who does the rest to make it 29-0 in the first quarter as Forge Christian put the pause on Kid Denver 50-6. Over to a place sent in, the Elizabeth Cardinals taking on the Will Central Cardinals, taking on Will Central, when Cardinals QB Griffin Waldham pitches it back to Titan Tupin, who scores a Titan touchdown. Cardinals win 23 to 6. Hit the ball, y'all, on three, one, two, three. Hit the ball, y'all, yeehaw. Hit the ball, y'all, on three, one, two, three. Hit the ball, y'all, yeehaw. Yeehaw! Oh, the softball field was the Grandview Wolves taking on the Arapaho Warriors. Warriors at bat with the bases loaded and Isabella Knox says, unload them. Knox sends a flare to center field. It's mishandled by the outfielder, so in comes one, two, and well, all three runs that were on the bases. Knox with the three RBI triple, 3-0 lead. Next up is Izzy Garcetti. And down the right foul line it goes in play, and Knox comes home on the RBI for zip. Grimview's turn now down four runs when Maddie Donaldson sends a pop fly to left center. It's caught, but the play is far from over. Watch what happens next. Runners go back to the bags and the ball gets overthrown. So the runners on both corners get to run in as Sasha Kennedy takes advantage. Game now within one. But leave it to Madison Jarmillo to blow it wide open. A high flyer headed deep and right over the field for a bomb. Grandview completes the comeback to win seven to five. Well, it's a tradition that's become the heart of Horizon High School. And if you're a faithful prep rally viewer, you know what we're talking about, the Horizon All Heroes game. It's something we personally look forward to covering every year, but this year was a little different. It's the final Horizon All Heroes game for senior quarterback Alex Birch. I'd say it's definitely a great tradition we do here at Horizon. It's a bit bittersweet because it's the last one, so I won't be here no more doing it, but it's definitely all. I look forward to it every year. Super fun. We were supposed to have it in the summer, and it got moved to now, so we've been waiting on it. Every year, the players have been waiting on it, so we're just ready to get out here and play with them. It's fun. The game was moved to midseason due to poor air quality which worked out because it was an all-out affair. I think it's super exciting that we get to include everyone. I think it's fun that palms, cheer, band, even football, everyone comes out and just has a fun time for including everybody here. Right on that. Right, two, three. Yeah. All right, let's go. That was a great break. Perfect, Michael. Great break. Yeah, it's way different. I mean, usually in the summer, like, it's kind of like kick off right before, like, the first game, like you do it the week before. But this year, I mean, we're doing it middle of the season, so it's a way different feeling. I think everyone's super excited still. So. And you already know the best part. <laughs> Celebrating in the end zone. Seeing the dance moves. That's my favorite. My favorite is seeing the dance moves. I like it when everyone has their own like end zone celebration. I think they always turn out so good. And in his final year, I asked, what's better, QB for the football team or QB for all heroes? We got a double reverse pass if we want it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Quarterback with all heroes. Everyone's smiling around you. 
everyone's smiling, you could have a good time. There's no, I mean, you're scoring every play too. It needs to be a smile every time. That's what makes, my, makes me happy. Everyone's smiling, it's a good time. Those jokes cracked. It's a great time. What you gave tonight. Remember what you gave and remember what you get from opening your heart. We're over at Dakota Ridge High School. Same vibes, many more schools. Adaptive soccer day for the Jeffco League South Area Schools. And these kids can play. The Dakota Ridge band setting the vibes for Jeffco Unified Soccer Day, and these athletes were balling all day on Wednesday. It's a once a month effort. The school district does to unify the area schools with some friendly competition. Chatfield, Douglas County, Ken Carr Middle School, Alameda, and so many more were in attendance for the good vibes and great fun. This is awesome. These are the best days. So the cool thing about these days are we have the students practicing during uni their unified PE class at the high schools and middle schools. And then they take what they've learned, developing their skills, the knowledge of the game, and then they take it to a whole new place, not at their school, like here at Dakota Ridge High School today, and showcase their talents and their abilities. And we're not focusing on their disability at all. We're focusing on their ability and what they're capable to do and giving them that unique opportunity that otherwise they wouldn't get. And then to enhance it, we have the Dakota Ridge Boys and Girls Soccer Program. They have volunteered to run our event. Everybody's having thousands of smiles, I always say, on these days, because everybody's just having fun. And these athletes, they just want to participate in soccer, just like the Gen Ed students. Colorado has one of the best unified and adaptive programs in the country. Well, it's that time again to announce this week's honor roll winner. Every week, we ask you at home to vote for your favorite top play of the week. And this week, that was Get Denver QB Yanni Balavas, who shows us the footwork fundamentals to break free out of the pocket and in for a touchdown. So to you kids at home who hate the cone drills, this is why it's important. Congrats, Yanni, and welcome to the honor roll winners list. But as always, remember, we can't be everywhere. So if you're out of the game and see something you'd like featured on the prep rally, just send it over. That's all, folks. I'm Ashley Moore, and we'll see you next time right here on the 9 News Prep Rally.